You ever wonder if I were here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Welcome to Face Jam, the show where we try every new fast food creation to let you know if you need it. You probably do. I'm your host, Michael Jones, alongside my co-host, Jordan Swears. Jordan, how are you? Eh. Eric's here, too. <laughs> rolling, and Nick's back roll, there. Rolling over here and yeah. rolling here. Also, when he, yeah. when he, when rolling he hit play, the here song, we're rolling. and rolling. When he hit play, here. we were like way into the song. Right? Yeah, that was... No, so, no it was a couple <laughs> seconds, it was, right? It was deep into the song. Okay. Uh, a lot of rolling and then a lot of a lot of oh, not go not oh, go yeah where to go. a lot of questions <laughs> oh boy, and a lot oh, of us boy. sitting here being like are we going <laughs> did we start you read the intro I read we're going it. did right? we record that if we recorded it we're moving are on. we are we rolling okay right. we are rolling over here today we're reviewing longtime fan favorite mm-hmm. Little Caesars. Pretzel crust pizza. I was wow. saying Little Caesars is the fan favorite. Right, right, right. Um, I'm surprised you read it from the, the the sheet where it is and not at the top like you usually do because it says something else. Oh shit! It does say KFC Double Down <laughs> format. Oh, <laughs> I was I was confused. Oh, what? How? Why? Come on. Um, do you think they could double down a pizza? How? Has this been oh, happening more than we've noticed? Like? I'm just like, is this the first slip in a while? Or is, I mean, because I didn't notice. This, I how assume, many have just gone by? I assume there's one in every <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, I hide it. I hide it like a highlights magazine to see if you guys can find it. Like, the can you can you find the um, mistype? Can you find the shoe? I've hidden a mouse. Whoa, and, uh, I'm yeah. looking. Yep. Keep looking. Uh, I want to go back to, can you double down a pizza? What would that look like? Is it two pieces of pizza with two crusts, and then you put pizza in? Well, that's a sandwich. You would yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying you put the so crust it's bread on the outside. Not saying you put crusts you like on e- either side. Oh imagine gosh, a crust gosh. at the end of a pizza slice. Now imagine another crust on top of it. I, I, why did he ooh that? You just doubled that down. He's able to fucking ooh anything. Not, right, even, right, right, watch it's, this. Because he, imagine a crust at the end of the pizza. Uh huh. Now imagine. He already ooed you. He didn't even have to get anywhere. Yeah, I was going to say, I was literally going to say, now imagine nothing else. It's just crust. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, he was, he was there he with was you. Ready. He closed his eyes and he saw it. It'd just be, I think it'd be difficult. Yeah. I figured that it would be what's on the, it like, you'd have to do like a cheese and a pepperoni outside and then like a, you know what I mean? Like, no, the, I don't. What, what do you mean? Like, what's the outside? Like with a double down. Mm-hmm. It's a sa- it's taking what's it's inside of a sandwich, of buns. right? But it's right. taking what's inside the sandwich and, and then using that the as bun. the bun, right? So for pizza, it would be you like would be using cheese and toppings as the crust, as the crust, <laughs> and then it would go it would go cheese and oh, toppings, so, and then there would so be here's what, here's what you do. in the middle, big pepperoni. Turn, I guess turn, so. your, turn your Sounds pizza, like shit. turn your pizza upside down. Uh huh. That's right. there you go. Whoa! Yeah, it you just doubled down. Here's the thing it it wasn't good. With KFC, uh-huh. and that's a much better, yeah, uh, like version of it. Mm-hmm. I don't even think we try with pizza. No, I just don't know how you can do it. I, I mean, well, you based can't... on the trajectory of this creation, mm-hmm. they're probably it's probably their next their next experiment. It, honestly, it makes me understand how the Papadia came to be because they just <laughs> went, well, what can be our double down? And they went like this far, and right, a guy went, yeah. fold it in half. Who gives a shit? Yep. And they went. Oh, full of pizza. Genius. Yeah. And now you're the vice president of marketing international the uh, culinary creations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, a pizza one on one, you can't have cheese on cheese. You can't. Yeah. You can't have cheese touch anything. That's why they give you the little tables. That's so true. true. So it's got to be facing mm. the other way. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. what are you going to have upside down cheese? Yeah. You gonna cheese have- is going to fuck it all up. But I guess you could fry the cheese so it's like. You know, like when you get like cheese on a griddle, That's kind not of, what and you it, like want in a pizza. Not no, what you it's want. Not. I guess it's not. Hey, leave double downs. Leave pizza alone. Haven't you taken enough? If you can figure this out, keep it to your keep it to yourself. Leave right. them yeah, alone. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Don't right? tell the guy. We don't, at culinary creation. We don't creations. need to go through the rounds of all yeah. the pizza places making your horrific double mm-hmm. downs. Tweet, that but if you do know the how customers. To do it, if you do know how to do it, tweet it Face Jam Pod yeah, and, we'll and, and simply say, I know how to do it. We had that Lou Malnati's 
sausage crust thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that was Oh, that's enough. probably the closest that you're going to get to a that's double donut. It was good, but I can't fathom eating that regularly. Oh, right? boy. Like, hey, let's go get a classic slice of the sausage right. bottom. This guy's over here. He's he making would. all kinds of noises. You know he would. And it was good, but it's a real like, oh, I've never had this. So let me try it. Cool. Yeah. Regular pizza now, please. Yes. But Can like, I, don't yeah. you feel like that's the double down? I guess. Like, to me, the double down is a thing where you go, oh, I'll try it. And then you eat it and you go, Nick, oh, how many double me. downs have like, you had since it came back? Two. I'm sorry. Okay, Jordan, right, how right. many double downs have you had, including the one we ate here? One. Okay, Nick held up two fingers <laughs> and then said, including this one. Right. That's too many. <laughs> well, I mean, it's two instead of three, right? So you've only had it twice. Now, when did you have the second double down? A week later. Okay. It well, was still on his okay. mind. Okay. <laughs> I was just curious if he was going to say that night. That was, that was really the only reason. I went reason. home and I told my wife, mm, as long as, it wasn't, double down as, as it wasn't that night, it's <laughs> pretty acceptable, I think. Uh, I just think the double down is a thing that, like, I would never go and get again. No, I mean, I guess there are those people, right? That but apparently, yeah, well, apparently <laughs> this thing, I mean, it's true. This thing with just the pretzel crust, which of itself seems like a, a creation that uh-huh. maybe we shouldn't have thought about. Yes. But here it is. I hate pretzels. The pretzel egg. Bun, no, I, hey, crust. I said earlier in the Slack channel, I'm all about pretzels. In the I regular love, pretzel I love shape. good old-fashioned yeah. regular pretzels. <laughs> He's a real stickler for pretzel shape. He likes the shape of pretzels. He demands the shape yeah. of pretzels. I don't even know if maybe it's the food so much as he likes eating the shape. Any other shapes are unacceptable. Shapes. Yeah, I have... <laughs> I have, you know how some people can taste colors? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You're kind of like, oh, 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 shapes. Yeah. I have that with shapes. Yeah, I can yeah, taste yeah. shapes. Yeah. Mm, this delicious. shape tastes different than the other. A thing. delicious pretzel shape. Oh no, a square. Ah. Yeah, it just tastes different. <laughs> um, Whoa! <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Fuck it. <laughs> pretzel crust, huh? <laughs> really gets in your brain. Little Caesars it turned your brain into. Oh, a pretzel I was gonna say. Shape. Apparently, mm-hmm. people clamor for this stuff, so it comes back. Like, yeah, but uh, they're yeah. all they're all little freaks. <laughs> no, but I was, here's the thing. Here's the thing. To me, when you've got shit like this especially returning shit there's Mm -hmm. a line between this which is okay pretzel crust and the other crap we'll get into but it's still a pizza it's still like yeah a normal pizza and then there's the double down which is you're holding two fucking pieces (laughs) of chicken right it's It's like twice the amount of chicken it's like yeah it's like the mcrib where you know it's just like well it's good thing coming back but it's a sandwich and then and then there's the friday like it's a cotton candy steak yeah (laughs) you know what i mean this is at least in the realm of normal food right like if i were going to get a regular pizza you are right i might see this and go oh i'm gonna get that if i'm going to get a cheeseburger i'm not gonna be like Fucking pancake hot dog. Why yeah. the fuck do I want that? <laughs> this is right on the line of that. It's on though. the line, but like, yeah, but, it, I, but it, 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 it's saving grace is that it is pizza shaped it's and pizza. I can eat it like a pizza. It is, and yeah. that's but very important for Jordan to know important. that it's pizza shaped. It's a circle that becomes triangles, <laughs> and he's good with that. Dude, that's why square pizza is not as good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tavern it. style just tastes different. I had a square pizza for the first time at Home Slice the other day. It was real good. Oh, oh yeah. the Sicilian there? Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. it's so like fluffy. Dude, it was fucking there's Sicilian. Oh, good. Nice. Great. It's huge, it's huge yep. though, it, because I'm used to it is, like normally when you get big. a Sicilian, they're, they're bigger because yeah. it's like a square or whatever. But usually, I'd say on the East Coast, it's like cut into like 15, 20 pieces. Right. Yeah. The home slices, it's nine. Yeah. yeah. It's nine slices. You got a whole Holy one. shit. Yeah. You got a whole pizza? I guess. Just a slice. I'm just like, oh, oh, no, I got the whole pizza. Okay. So, but it's so it's but the whole pie is only cut into nine slices. Yeah, yeah. Which they're huge. Is insane because it's much it's bigger than so a regular big. pizza. Yeah. The problem uh, I always good have, shit though. Yeah, that that's the problem with home slices is that their regular pizza, like pepperoni and mushroom pizza, mm. New York style, classic, so delicious, and yep. it's all you want to get. But then. The off chance you try something else like the Sicilian mm-hmm. or one of their sandwiches, Dude, their sandwiches those are, are also good. delicious. The garlic knots are good yep. as shit. Their too. garlic yeah. knots are really good. Not at all garlic knots. No, no. but they're, no. Good. they're, they're just they're, little bread they're toys. They're fat pieces of garlic bread, yeah. and they go to garlic knot because yeah, you took garlic on it. Yeah, but they're delicious. I'd never yeah. had a garlic knot until I was like well into my twenties. I'd never like heard of it. I didn't know what it was. Fuck, they're good. It's a bunch of extra shit laying around. Yep, that's what it is. Just like make this into a little knot. Fuck it. We'll make something and we'll just smother them and oil yeah. and shit. Mm. Oh. Hey, somehow Making, this is worse for you than the oh, pizza. Oh, 100%. Yeah, <laughs> nice and crispy, like yep. golden brown. Oh, fucking but so again, good. not at all what home slice <laughs> makes. <laughs> right. But it's very good, and I get them anyway. They're just I, huge fucking, like, I just balls. don't think it's fair for home slice to be so good at everything. Yeah, they're very, very good. All of their items, like, I want a go-to thing that is going to be good, and mm-hmm. I'm not missing out, mm-hmm. you know? 
I feel like if I just get one slice of pepperoni and mushroom, I'm missing out on a good sandwich. I'm missing out on on the Sicilian, and they need some sort of bundle so I oh, yeah, so I can have all slice? the good food. I need a, scri- a subscription service to Home Slice Help, so I'm but, never missing out. But like you know, portion it out so I'm not eating too much. Okay, great. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Are you I'm listening? Con- concerned about the portion control? So give me everything I want, but like in a reasonable sure amount, small. and also at a reasonable price. <laughs> It's like people who you like ninety percent of something stuff. and complain about the the ten percent that they don't like. Yeah, well, home slice is a hundred percent good. Mm-hmm. Whoa. But I also have problems. But with yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love also, this thing. And also, here's everything wrong with it. I, it also poses issues. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so sometimes it's good not to be a hundred percent. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, but so we didn't go speak, to home slice. No, we certainly did not but go I to home want slice. To. Can yeah. we? Oh, uh, it's delicious. <laughs> but we went to uh, we went to Little Caesars because it's back. The pretzel crust, baby. Didn't know it was ever a thing. Now, I was going to say, have you guys had the pretzel crust Never pizza heard before? of it. I heard about it, I think, the last time it was around. Mm-hmm. Or I didn't forget. At, at the really very lame. end of it. And I was like, oh, hope I never eat that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it predated Face Jam. Yeah. Some other people that I follow mm-hmm. uh, and are friends with, they were eating it. One is a really big fan of it and was afraid it would never come back. So he sealed Whoa. it forever uh-huh. in like a, in like that, that Breaking Bad episode where they... Uh, they made like the the Meh. construction. Oh no! It was it was Better Call Saul where they like oh. uh, put the thing in silicone. Yeah, uh, so to oh. preserve forever. He did that with a slice of pizza. Mm-hmm. Is that does that work? So anyway, it's back. Can you eat that? Uh, no. I don't know if is it, it to preserve it I, to eat or just have forever. I, th- I think he just likes looking at it. Okay, well that yeah. makes more sense. <laughs> Yeah, there are some people uh, that I that I know who love this fucking thing to death Whoa. and. Um, can't get Same enough guys? of it. Sound, Same guys. Sounds like you have some animosity. No animosity. <laughs> just, really? I, I will For say, me, it's not confusion. animosity. It's, it's confusion. It's confusion. It's confusion. Okay. Actually, one of them makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not that confusing. Should this person The other be? friend. Oh, there's multiple. What are you doing? <laughs> That's my um, Wow. Kevin. You don't have to live this way. So God. it's. So there's two different <laughs> versions of this pizza that we got. Um, Let me see it. The pizza? One yeah. has one has cheese sauce. Why did you sound so shocked? There's so much left. This is the regular pretzel version. Can you get audio of that? <laughs> of the salt? Oh, um, God, you so you said it with it's a smirk. Sad. That sounded so, that's, so good. That's what, not what I Nick thought you were going screamed. to say. Well, here's the thing. I get it. You said it with a smirk. Eric didn't even have time to answer. He picked it up, and it was an avalanche of salt. Yep. And I, like, closed my eyes, and I heard it, and I was thinking, wow, that was clearly salt uh-huh. and he's screaming over there i love it i love it so, so good but <laughs> it was whoosh, i went oh that was good it so sounds we, like it sounds like those rain sticks so it does so we got the regular pretzel crust and mm-hmm. the pretzel crust stuffed okay it was a long pause <laughs> well, so, it's, so nick can enjoy the salt it's so nick can enjoy the salt it was much subtler that time well, his, it's, it's, kinda, kinda, it's like nick listening to pizza sounds is like his asmr he listens to that when he goes to bed. P- pizza pizza sounds. sounds. Is tumbling salt a general pizza sound? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, what it is, this, it's a very Siri, specific pizza. Siri, play when, when Nick's the, playlist Pizza Sound 4. <laughs> when the pretzel crust comes back, then it gets put in the rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It, it uh, comes so back. there's a regular pretzel crust pizza in the stuff pretzel crust pizza. I was not aware of the stuffed pretzel crust pizza until I went to order this morning, and it said, hey, you want stuffed? Whoa, and it's like, you, I, you're always looking You want to get stuffed? I you, fucking can't get enough of getting stuffed. You also uh-huh. can't get enough of always going to a different little season. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you gotta you try to. That's because true. while you wanted to get stuffed. You know, there were so many little seasons around. While you wanted around. to get stuffed like a little child, you didn't want to call. So we go to a closer one. <laughs> yeah, it's an the online, online order coming soon. <laughs> right. And I said, well, couldn't you call? It's and you always, just went, well, online order. It's yeah. always fun <laughs> driving by a location. <laughs> Pointing at it, going, could, just being clear, we're not going. We're not there. going to this one. <laughs> that was five minutes away. Um, we're going to one ten minutes away. Yes, that I didn't know existed. Here's here's my rationale. Okay. Other than online ordering, right. it's a good rationale. That that I think is justified in and of itself. However, I will say that if a franchise is to be looked at like we're reviewing this thing that should be the blanket version of this, no matter where we go, it should be it should good. be the same. Mm. But 
the importance of trying different locations is to truly see if they can hold up against each other. Shut the hell up. <laughs> yeah, it's like you what? give a shit about what anything you that you just said. That all what makes, what that all makes sense. What a compelling argument. <laughs> what a compelling argument that you in no way believe or right. stand behind. Right. <laughs> wow, it was such a good speech. Anyone else saying it, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I I sat there going like, wow, what a good point. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. This is Eric. He doesn't believe this for a goddamn second. And that's the reason we went to a third a Little Caesars. All right. They didn't have Let me order. tell you where this argument falls apart. We've gone to three different Little Caesars. We've gotten three different things from these three different Little Caesars. So what are we comparing? Uh, You know, seeing if uh, they do the, 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 the limited stuff. Yeah, it's true. Right. Here's the thing. Here's I'm, what we I'm learned. With him hey, now. hey. Pizza portal worked at this place. Dude, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I got out of the car <laughs> right. after you guys. I walked in and, and you were walking out. I went, okay. We walked out <laughs> and you guys are getting back in the car. I went, I don't know, picture. <laughs> and you went, oh yeah. I was Mike, like, I Michael mean, I, wanted to do something. I was something. just like, I took my seatbelt off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza portal. Eric just went in there crazy. and started, started mashing buttons. We didn't even get to like there enjoy was, the pomp and circumstance there was of the a pizza guy, portal working. Yeah. There was a guy behind the counter who did not say hello when I said <laughs> hi. And uh, <laughs> when we got stuff out of the pizza portal, he did not look at us. And when we Excellent. were leaving, here's the thing. The, we were like, oh, wow, the door. Oh, I think like the door's broken open. I think he has a buzzer behind where he is, and he opened it. Oh. Oh, you sure? No, but I think that's what happened. Oh, okay. I mean... Matt Lauer style. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my were, were, you, were you like oh a second behind God. me on that? I'll be honest. That's opposite of Matt Lauer style. No, he was, he was, you were leaving. Oh he was closing God. the door. <laughs> you know, That's like eventually. going to Little Caesars and they hit the button. They go, you're not going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I'd be perfectly fine gutting that. <laughs> also, no, you leave it in uh, because we don't want people to forget about Matt Lauer's style, which was a thing that I think everyone forgot about. <laughs> it's true. Wow. He's kind it's of just like, yep. whenever somebody talks about like buttons that unlock doors, I mm -hmm. go, who has that? Oh, yeah. Matt, Matt Lauer. Well, but, uh, but his is more of one that locks doors. <laughs> There's context. I'm sure it unlocks them too. This, this, I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> this man he probably has a key. This man let us have pizza and then ushered us out. Uh, he, didn't <laughs> he didn't let us ushers. anything and didn't usher right. anywhere. Well, he but, let as in but, chose not to look at you or speak to you <laughs> or acknowledge he, you or say hi to you or the body to you. Portal, he so he simply, didn't have to talk to us. He existed in a liminal space and like we also existed there very briefly <laughs> and then were uh, so quick to leave. So quick. To it leave. truly is like a, a four dimensional creature interacting yeah, with a three dimensional really. one. We only caught a glimpse of him as he intersected with our plane of existence. You're really putting a lot of stock in this. I think the door might have just been swinging open. Though. Mm, I think I the door was just broken. I don't know that the guy had a Little no. Caesars door yeah. button. No, I think he, I think he had an anti Lauer style button. <laughs> <laughs> reverse Lauer. Yeah, style. he had a reverse Lauer. I think that Little Caesars had a reverse Lauer. I think. <laughs> what I think. They let you out. Hey, did you get a haiku? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's... You don't want to keep mining this? <laughs> the canary is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone it's out. Everyone it's out. Time yeah, to we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Oh, that was a Lauer style mine. <laughs> I no, called... the door's locked. No, you don't understand. The canary's name was Matt Lauer. Oh. <laughs> Matt Lauer alerted us to danger. <laughs> We have to get out. The canary tried to restore honor to the name. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, so that haiku. did not die in so vain. That haiku. <laughs> Salted rim surprise. Two tastes that taste together. A puzzling fusion. Whoa. That's pretty good. Two tastes that taste together. They certainly are two things. They, uh, this pizza, I think, was shocking when I uh, unveiled it to you guys. In the a little bit, yeah. Just the concept of it is like, why? Why? Who thought of this? Well, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I I don't know how much we want to dive into this, but I, you know, uh, last second alerted as usual. It's a pizza thing, and it's a pretzel thing. It's a pizza pretzel thing, mm -hmm. and so that's where my expectations began and ended. And then upon opening it, I noticed something else slightly different. And then, which I asked, like, oh, is that this cheese? And you had an, an even another answer that I didn't expect. Mm -hmm. And so then at that point, 
to me is the big thing about the pizza. It's not the crust. It's not the pretzel. Because again, it's it tastes different, but it's a pretty replaceable crust. It's a little Caesar's pizza. As far as yeah. like structure and all that, yeah. it's not like the sausage crust, yeah. which is you're holding fucking sausage and there's pizza on top of it. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? The the replacement is is decent, much mm-hmm. like the pretzel pub. Like it's a sandwich. Yeah. It's what's on it is crazy. It is so just so you guys know, it is instead of a pizza sauce, it is like a cheese sauce. It's like a nacho cheese sauce. Yeah. And a so little you, bit of it squirted out onto yeah, my hand. Yeah. <laughs> and I did not want yeah. To like lick it up. Michael looked at it and he went, is there cheddar on it? Because it's I yellow. Said, yeah, it's, like in, it, in splotches. Right, yes. right. It's like very yellow. Yeah. And it's not that there's cheddar on it. It's that there is a cheese sauce under the cheese. Which, so when you're talking about, well, there can't be a cheese on cheese, there is. And it's on the pretzel crust. Well, it, yeah. It makes sense because it's like a beer cheese type yeah, of pretzel like thing. Your pretzel and your cheese. But did, if you can see them interacting with each other, they're fucking It's a crust. Not wait. just the face Jordan's making, it's a but the entire upper body expression it's, he did for uh, 10 <laughs> seconds. was just, He was just fighting to find the words. I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm struggling to understand. Yeah, we put a, like a it's, beer cheese dude, sauce again, it's, away from the pretzel. Yeah. It's one of those things where I feel like, again, J- Jordan is the first person I think of when I go, man, this is either going to go either way where it's okay. It's like, we're doing the pretzel thing. You know, there's the beer cheese. There's the cheese sauce. Do we commit Mm -hmm. and be like, we're doing the pretzel thing. We're committing. Or is it like, come on, that's not going to commit that far. I mean, the pizza thing. And Jordan's the first time I go, Hey, what the fuck? Why didn't you commit? <laughs> Show me the experience. Where is the cheese sauce? That's my assumption. If it were the exact opposite, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they went. They with, should have put that sauce in the stuff. They just one. went. It's a great point. That's a good, that's a that's fucking a good great idea. point. Or or on the side. I think if you on the dip, side, dip it, I think if you, you dip the pizza, pizza that, yep. and then you dip it, much like a regular pretzel, you have the option. Yeah, right. That's just a presented way. But then again, understandably, just from a business standpoint, that's another sure million steps in the oh, chain of, of right. like, put this on plate, push this in the yeah. oven, do that whatever. That guy's already not talking to people. Yeah, exactly. you, think he's gonna, <laughs> you think he's going to throw your cheese cup in? <laughs> um, well, well, let's learn about Little Caesars. What they should have done is mustard sauce. I mean, look. Interesting. That's, anytime there's, there's a soft or baked pretzel, which I guess is really the same thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This mustard. Come on, man. Some places know this. Go. Some places don't. I was just griping about it. Alamo Draft House recently, at least here, they pulled their mustard from mm. their baked pretzel. They they it's comes with, it comes with the pretzel, queso, and mustard, and it's amazing. It's amazing trifecta. No mustard now. I'm telling Sad. you, I'm gonna start bringing my own. I just keep forgetting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start bringing. And that, don't give me thumbs up, Nick. Fuck off. This, see this? I won't, I you're won't. Like, no, oh, you're like no. him now. I'm not, oh. I'm not like Gremlin Nick. Oh, very oh, similar. One of us. Oh. Here's, here's the thing. I'm not like Gremlin Nick. <laughs> there are I'm, two of us now. I'm restoring the order that was already in place. <laughs> right. I, oh, Gremlin Nick. No, I'm bringing mustard because these right. fuckers took it away from me. Right. I mean, bringing, and then you'll go to a movie with Nick and he'll go, and here are my other sauces that oh, I also brought. Oh, yeah. no. here's, some, <laughs> here's some house. It's a sacrifice. made in It's a like sacrifice that. I'm willing to take. Uh, I will be the one to stand up and say, my mustard makes me different than him. Yeah, <laughs> but he'll I'm also, not like him. But, like, but, him. but in a Ben-Hur situation, he will then stand up and just repeat what you said. I know. It's, sp- it, it, yeah. it's fine. And I'll say, that's fine. He's Spartacus. Yep. Good job. Right. I'm Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Michael. And I like spicy bread. My bro- mustard I, makes me different from I'm from, from New Jersey I'm and I'm Michael. Polish. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take my mustard from me. <laughs> Fucker. No. Let's learn about Little that's Caesars. That's Alamo, not Nick. Hey, everybody. This episode of Face Jam is brought to you by DoorDash. Burnt your last piece of toast? Avocado's gone bad? Or is that hot sauce bottle empty? Is it? I was queuing up Nick and he's not ready. Try grocery well, delivery from DoorDash. I You'll think get was, everything you want delivered when you need it right to your I door. I think he was realizing actually that he was out of pocket. Right. No, I think I, that made him panicking. realize. I mean, I will say that I do think he's never reached the end of a hot sauce bottle without just having another one ready. I mean, he so, is look, dumping look, out uh, sauce sauces. Sauces are just coming out of his, his backpack for real. Actually, you're not kidding. Look, I think his laptop fell out too. He said, uh oh. <laughs> look, that's fine. That's for him to worry about. Okay? Yeah. Because you no longor have to worry. Look, you've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers 
too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood and boost your local economy with each and every That's order. what it's all about. Good We're job, trying Eric. to boost yeah. our economy. Our neighborhood's economy. Yeah, that's I, well, that's. Are what you I'm trying? Doing. I'm. Yeah, we're doing. Yep. So stop hey, trying. Well, hey, also, also, I feel like some people drag it down a little bit. Unfortunately, no. Here's the thing about boosting your economy. Go ahead. You'll also get exactly what you're ordering, or DoorDash will make it right. Oh. So sit that's back good. and enjoy quality groceries, just like you picked them yourself. But you didn't. You didn't. That's Somebody else right. told you did, them what to get but for it was, you. And it was DoorDash that yeah. did it. Yep. Okay. And if you want even more value, you can save on your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. I mean, if you're mm. dashing, mm. like, get even dash a pass. few times, Easy. you should it, dash pass. Yep. It, makes, you know? it makes the most if sense. If you're not like an emergency dasher, but yeah. you're like a casual dasher, mm. it just kind of makes sense to Cash be a dash, dash yeah. passer. Cash dash with pass. easy uh, yeah. substitutions right in the app and best in class customer support door dash delivers groceries exactly how you want it but jordan how do i get started our listeners the jammers if you will that's you can get 50 percent off your first door dash order up to a 20 dollars value when you use code jammers jammers at checkout just once that's yeah. jammers limited time offer terms apply by the way that's 50% off up to $20, no min sub subtotal, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code JAMMERS. What's that code one more time, Michael? It's JAMMERS. Oh, and you get 50% off your first order with DoorDash? Yeah, that's J-A-M-M-E-R-S. JAMMERS. Don't say it like that. They're just JAMMERS. Right, They're just it. JAMMERS. Yeah. Oh. Not Jamesers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm enjoying when are the you weather... At the, are you at the doctor? No, I'm enjoying when the weather's getting warm. Oh, um, yeah. I'm feeling the, the sunshine. Yeah, I go, ah. You I getting out in your yard and digging around like yeah. a little like a little rat? Yeah, well, I, I dig around in my garden. It's one of my favorite parts of spring. And Sunday lawn care makes it easier than ever for me to enjoy it. Sunday lawn care? Yeah. It, lawn care is so much work and so much effort. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing. I love spring and I love putting the effort into my garden and my lawn and Sunday makes it so easy. It's everything you need to get the lawn you've dreamed of. Jordan, Dude, close I, your eyes. I've had some crazy- Close your eyes! Okay, please do it. Okay, he's done it. Now, think about your perfect lawn. Wow, look at it. And now think about GetSunday.com slash Face Jam okay. and enter your address to get a customized plan created just for your lawn. So you didn't even have to think about it that hard. That's true. Wow. And you're telling me that if he does such that, yeah. there's no trips to the store None. or hauling heavy bags mm -mm. since they ship straight to your home. Right to where you live your house. That's your, great. I'm your very, Jordan I'm, home. I'm, yeah. I'm very weak and cannot lift those heavy yeah. bags. Well, that's the thing. You get them sent to your Jordan home. And then mm -hmm. you unbox them and you spray them all over your Jordan lawn. So, okay, but what kind of, like, crazy kind of tools am I going to need? I, like, all oh, I got to probably have a bunch of really advanced equipment a ready hoe, for my... A rake? Where no, am I no, going to get those? You oh, almost dude. had it the first time. What do you mean? A hose, Jordan! Two hose? Uh, you, all you need <laughs> is a hose to apply Sunday. You can fertilize your whole lawn in less time than it takes to watch an episode of your favorite TV show. They only use ingredients that you can feel good about. No harsh chemicals, no long waiting periods and trying to keep your kids and pets off the lawn. You don't have to do that. They can go right on. It's, it's fine. It's impossible I mean, uh, to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. They're going to get muddy. They get out there. They're kids. That's what they do. They don't even need to find mud. They'll mm -hmm. make it. Simply apply, let it dry, and you're back to enjoying your yard. Plus, Sunday is easy and affordable. Some lawn care services cost more than $1,500 a year. Hang on. I'm adding everything up. Okay. Yep, that's yeah, true. That tracks. That but tracks. Sunday's full season plans start at one hundred and nine dollars. That's a lot less than the other. That is number. um much. If you look at the two numbers next to each other, write down. Get a pen real quick. Write down one five zero zero. Then write down one zero nine. Right, right there is just fewer, can fewer see numbers. It. If it's you put fewer. a zero at the end, yeah. it's still it's small. Still. It's still small, but you're but, not. But you're not. Anyway, Sunday is offering you 20% off full season plans start at $109, which is less than $1,500. And you can get 20% off when you visit getsunday.com slash face jam at checkout. Look, the important part is the face jam part because then they know that we sent you and then you- And you sent yourself a mm -hmm. sweet lawn setup. That's right. And, and you're going to be loving it. And you also got it for 20% off your custom plan at getsunday.com slash face jam. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. He's been waiting the whole time to say that. Dot com slash face jam. <laughs> Our previous Little Caesars episode was released August 31, 2021, 
where we ate the Little Caesars crazy calzone and received an average score of 56.5. I don't remember that. I probably remember I probably gave it a decent score and Jordan probably didn't like it. It was I in a guess. cross kind of shape. Remember we had the Batman one too? It was in like the cross shape and then like you ate, there's like a weird cheese. I remember the probably Batman Probably on somebody's one. car or something. It's like that. It's just that. Okay. Did he which not which like it? Uh, Little Caesars did we go to to get that one? <laughs> That, it's probably two. Of them. Well, yeah, we we went to one. We went to the regular one, and then the other time was when uh, Taco. What was the fucking Taco Cabana? Taco Cabana when it didn't have <laughs> <You laughs> when don't it have didn't to. have the food, and we had to drive all the way north. That was like Cat's first episode of Face Jam. Was us being like an hour late mm. because we were driving all the way up to a Little Caesars. It oh, was like that's so right. insane. And we, I remember you being like. Somebody's just got to let her in. Like, yeah, I just <laughs> felt so fucking bad. Ugh. My favorite thing about the Taco Cabana thing. I miss Kat. Too bad she doesn't work there anymore. <laughs> yeah, not here specifically. Yeah, um, that's what I said. My favorite thing about the Taco Cabana thing mm. is like no one has to understand that, right? Yeah. It's just because we, for some reason, saw that clip like 5,000 times and latched mm. on to it. <laughs> yeah, I think just, you, just, I just think like you heard cut. it. You go, I like the way you say I it. I just kept saying Taco like, Cabana. <laughs> it's just from like early cuts of the jam, the jam, the van episodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it. we've said it a lot, and yep. people don't know what the hell we're talking about. Nope, good. It's not worth explaining. Nope. It's one of the 10% so things they you hate should about it. shouldn't cut this out, but bleep out half of what I've just said, <laughs> just so they still don't know what it means. It's perfect. <laughs> um, all right, to announce the return of the pretzel crust pizza, Little Caesars made a fake corn cob crust pizza and put out a social media campaign that tricked more people than you think based on the amount of tweets that were sent to us by very gullible people who take things at face value and have no critical thinking skills. Dang, Eric. Where's the joke? Oh, the joke was the tweets. Where's the joke, dude? <laughs> it was, look, we put corn cobs on our crust, and people were like, you guys gotta eat this. Yeah, that sounds and good. I'll like, eat that. Right, this isn't real. I can't wait for that. When to, did they, when why did aren't they we post eating that? that? Did they not do that? No, they didn't do that. I sent you a tweet about it, though. <laughs> When did they? When did they post? When did they tweet that? Uh, right before uh, April Fool's Day. Right before April Fool's Day. Uh -huh. The best so, time to do an so April Fool's So that means joke. it was legit. No. Maybe it was April Fool's Day in Australia. Oh. oh. I don't think so, but maybe they're way ahead. Yeah, that's it's they are like fifteen hours. That's a long and, time. And, and their seasons time. are reversed. Oh, thing, and the so, seasons are reversed. Yeah. So that might be so they're behind us now. No, I in, think they might be ahead of us. I think skip, they might be in 2024. Ahead? Do we go back and forth or no? Do we go back and forth? What yeah, are you talking like about? Yeah, like they're a day ahead, then we're a day ahead. Then they, you know what I mean? No. Damn they're it. always a day ahead. That'd be cool, though. What place does that? Like switch? Yeah, what What do we switch with? Are there places that switch? I or are you just I'm, asking? I don't think so. I'm, I'm there, hoping there, there is. is. what I'm saying. There is one. If you ever look at the international dateline, uh -huh. you, you'll see it's a dateline. straight line for the <laughs> NBC. You'll see it's a straight line for the most part, and then a very weird uh, kind of alcove that they cut out because one island nation did more business with somebody on the like the east part of the international date line. So they're like, <laughs> "Can you like just cut us out of it, and so we can so we can be on the same time as them?" Wow. Apparently, it's just a made up construct, and we could just do whatever we want. Yeah, that's most things I think. Right. So yeah, my so, idea doesn't sound so crazy. So at all. now, honestly, he sold me on your idea. So maybe Face Jam can carve out. Whoa. And be on Australians. Australians oh, okay. time yeah, we're zone. an Australian podcast. But we have to be in the Adelaide time zone, which is 30 minutes different. Oh, no. Right. Right. I forgot. I forgot yeah. about that. And I hate it. That's mm. cool. I hate it so and much. People hate Adelaide, don't they? <laughs> well, I mean, it's not Melbourne. I mean, I'm not. I'm, well, I mean, obviously. Take that, Perth. I, I'm not people. Well, Perth doesn't like Perth. No. <laughs> that's, that's pretty true. I'm just spouting. The only thing Perth's got going for it is that Quokka Island. Oh, where like the little monsters are there. How dare you? No. Finishing 66 to 96 in the 2022 season, the wait, Detroit wait. Tigers. Why are, do you give him sports ones? You can't still, read them. No, it's they, the. They lost. They lost sixty-six they lost by, to ninety-six. They lost by, they lost by thirty, Jordan. <laughs> they lost they by, did. I mean, they, they lost, lost by thirty games, uh -huh. dude. Yep, they did. <laughs> Jesus, the <laughs> Detroit Tigers are still owned by. The Illich family with Mike's son Christopher now in charge of the team. Nothing screams capable like having your dad buy something, then give it to you so you can run it into the ground while millions of people watch in abject horror. Go cats. 
but you didn't put an exclamation. No. <laughs> He's really coming out swinging with these first two. Yeah. You're yeah. not a big Christopher Illich fan, apparently. I don't think anyone who's a Detroit <laughs> Tigers fan is a big Christopher Illich fan. I'm just telling you, looking at the just just the length and the bold print coming up in the next one, I don't think he gets any calmer. What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, did you see the tweet where the Tigers tweeted like, guys, we have something special coming for you. And it was like a picture of the ballpark and they're just announcing some game day thing. And every reply is people going, are you selling the team? Oh, 66 wins? Yeah. Right. That's, 96 losses. 96, 96 is a lot of wins. 96 not, is more losses, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, but if you stop losses. at 66. That's right. true. Right. If if you were a football team and if you got 66 wins. If that, you're playing basketball and you got 66 wins, well, that's pretty good. Way to go. Right. So there we go. Got 66 yep. straight, hockey wins. Yep. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for baseball, not a lot of wins. Yeah, not a lot of wins for baseball. Yeah, but you haven't seen nothing yet. Yep. The spaghetti bucket has not returned to Little Caesars, Aww. but when you Google spaghetti bucket, you find a restaurant called Buy the Bucket, which is a franchise offering 1.5 pounds of spaghetti in a bucket for $20. Mama Mia. $20? Where is that? The closest one is Edmond, Oklahoma. Oh, Where is that's that? a different state. North. Where? How is it far? north in Oklahoma or is it south in Oklahoma? Because if it's, it's south, it's middle in of Oklahoma. Oh, that's pretty far. Yeah, because uh, like by the time you get to Dallas, you're practically in Oklahoma, yeah. so you might as well keep going. Yep. No, it's middle. And if it's Nick, just a little Nick jump is across saying the we border, should go there, I think. Oh, fuck. So, we hang on. Nick is Nick is uh, trying to make his text bigger. Well, so this he can communicate. Well, with this us. can be great though because we can use the brand new Space Jam, <laughs> Space Jam flight jet sports car. <laughs> space Jam. <laughs> The SpaceX jam. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nick is saying, the, let's fucking go in big letters, and we're on. driving the, the, the space, space jam, jam flight force. <laughs> <laughs> the problem the problem with the space jam flight force is that, <laughs> like, like the SpaceX counterpart, yeah. it does crash a lot. Yeah, but if it blows up there, mm. we're there. Right, as long as we get there. Like, Did we were expecting it to blow up way, way sooner. I thought he was looking up how far no, it was. No, he was, no, he was about just saying, let's go. go. He I doesn't know. care. He doesn't care how far it but, is. He but just I mean, wants to, go. to know. If it's like in a real city, we can maybe go. But, but I don't want to go to fucking Edmond, Oklahoma. Me neither. But then I'm just saying last second, you'd bail anyway. Me? Yeah. Are we going to talk about it? Let's uh, spin silly. This sucks. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll save it. This sucks. <laughs> just say we got that travel budget. Oh, it's fine. We I got, have. It's just I, sitting around I now. Have, I have such a good twist. <laughs> Six hours, that's it? That's not that's far a, at all. That's a long flight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a six hour flying, right? It's a six hour flight. Oh. oh. <laughs> so let's get the Space Jam flight force <laughs> sports car on the ground. Six hours. Uh -huh. We could do that. Uh -huh. We could do that in three days. <laughs> <laughs> How many places do we have to stop and film? Yeah, we'll be fucking like, hey, it's only six hours away. I'll see you on Monday. We'll bring Big, we'll bring big Ray. He'll film the whole thing. It'll be great. Oh we'll stop God. and get peanut butter jelly sandwiches. We gotta bring Cameron, too. Yeah, He doesn't have to do out. anything, but he does He does have to be there. All right, give me the bucket. <laughs> There's one more fact. Hey, I want to get this bucket. Oh, let's learn. The final fact. Seven Little Caesars franchises in Tennessee violated federal child labor laws by having 15-year-olds to work over 40 hours a week while operating ovens and stand mixers. The Department of Labor fined Little Caesars $161,000, and the children were sent to the mines, where they will learn to keep their mouths shut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope it's not the mine we were stuck in earlier. Why? Child labor's back, baby. Dude, it is, unfortunately. <laughs> It unfortunately is in a big way. <laughs> I just being 15 and just wanting a job. You're like, oh, I just want to make some money working at a little Caesars. What I get some free pizza, whatever. And they're making you work over 40, 40 hours. hours a week. And like, away and, in the and oven. like in the oven. Yeah. Sure. yeah. That's, the, that's the other thing too, man. 15, 16 year old employment. Yeah. Like, Legally, commercially, is like you can put this on the shelf. Yes, like, it is like it's, it's, yeah. it's target. It's hard. Pushing to, it's hard to yeah. get a job because you can't do anything. Right. Yeah. You're like legally, like you know. Also, uh, nobody wants to work. Yeah. 
big well, that's the other so problem. is what happened. And that's yeah. why they're going to the but, mines. But these kids do. To learn work <laughs> the, ethic. These, what? These, these kids want to work. They're learn. These kids want to work, which is why they're working. They want to work 40, 40 hours. plus hours a week. They're tired of school. <laughs> They I want to be school anymore. I want to be a sophomore in high school and I want to go home to apparently my one bedroom apartment where I don't <laughs> live with my family. Like that's pretty cool. That, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. That's a movie. Little I don't Caesars, know how they rented it to me, but I pay cash. Little Caesars, this, this, <laughs> this billion dollar corporation, they're going to think twice after getting yeah. fined $161,000. $161,000. <laughs> that'll, that'll teach them. <laughs> That is pretty awesome. Actually. I mean, they only had to pay the kids what's forty hours times uh, probably four dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they're not adults; they don't get they don't get the federally mandated minimum Fuck. wage. Fuck, so cool. Knowing Tennessee, they probably have a law that's like yeah. we're allowed to yeah, we'll ignore pay. the federally well, mandated minimum wage. Well, it's because you work for tips, you know, because it's food service. Right? So. Yeah, it all evens out. Yeah. <laughs> so you make two thirty five hey, an the, hour. Hey, I want to tip fifteen uh, percent, but I want no. the, the, the oven here's kids. What, in no, the back. What, no, 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 no. Here's what you need. Here's what you do. Like a guy in a bathroom, you have a kid dressed nice, stand in front of the in front of the um yeah. the pizza portal. Mm -hmm. goes, Let me get that. Let me get that. What's your IT scan <laughs> QR code? Yeah, yeah, opens it for you, and then they just put their hand up. Can I get you some mints? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> would you like some cheese packets? <laughs> oh, Nick man. would, yes. Yeah, of course. He's he's already taken them. Yeah, right, actually. Right. <laughs> those are the facts, by the way. Yeah. That's all. Those are just the facts about Little Caesars. There's something. You learned a lot about Little Caesars, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, I learned that they're like every other evil corporation in this. Yeah, they own the Detroit Tigers. Country. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, they're hey, taking uh, sauce uh, off. As, a, as an Angels fan, I can I can you, you I can commiserate with the, with the need to sell the team. Sell it to me. Just give me the team. Yeah. You want it? Yeah. I bet Face Champ could scrump together some. Would All we... right. Well, immediately went from you to us. Yeah. Would you? Guys, I need, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm he just wants to it. scrimp and save. And it's uh, I'm just saying it'd be, more attractive, it'd be a more attractive offer. Okay. If it's, it's multiple. Okay. So let's think about <laughs> okay. what you would change on the team. Would they still be the Tigers? No, I want to buy the Angels. Oh. Okay, I mean, we can do that. Okay, well, hold on. Let's buy the Tigers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get Mike Trout, get Shohei Otani. Okay. That's, uh, get them where? To, to the Tigers. To the Tigers, okay. I guess. They got to okay. get to the Tigers. Okay. They're players. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, step two, pizza portals everywhere. Oh. Define everywhere. It's what the fans want. You enter the stadium through a pizza portal. Oh, but you Whoa. get cooked. You're not getting cooked, are you? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, you're you're nice and toasty, though. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's just keeping you warm. I just don't know. Is this it gets wide? pretty cold in Detroit. I don't know wide? if you know that. Now, now, you're just walking through the pizza portal as like a doorway or it's an actual portal that's teleporting you places. A door is also a portal. Okay. It's not widespread teleportation oh, across the planet. No, have not cracked that You're yet. just putting warm... That's step three. Step three. Yeah. three. You're just putting... Funnel all profits gotcha. to teleportation okay. technology. I'm sorry, you signed Mike Trout and Shohei Otani and you're funneling profits? What he's saying is he's right. got, he wants because, to add... Because every, every game's a sellout. Now. Ah. He's going to add a little heater over uh -huh. every doorway. Yeah. And then going, and you're being it. transported. Yeah, the pizza portal. To, your pizza. To... <laughs> Is it Comerica Park? Where do they play? That's right. Step four. Okay. <laughs> Change the name. Are we? Is it Face, Face Jam, Jam Field? Oh, Face Jam Field. Okay. Uh, when I played, uh, everyone's walk-up music. The intro. Oh, everyone. everyone. That's so cool. <laughs> in in <laughs> baseball. <laughs> or just the team? Oh wow! Here comes Mike on Trout. The, <laughs> on the team. <laughs> Be cool if it was every team though. Oh, well, the away team they don't get music. When, they get booed. Uh, when I played, it's like a song. <laughs> I played MLB the show it's last the year, and when you uh, when you make your own team, you make uniforms and stuff. And mm -hmm. I made them uh, the uh, Face Jam, and it was 100% Eat logos. Oh, all cool! Yeah, yeah. Did you just put them cool. on. The I made butts? the Austin Dillos. Nice. Yeah. That works too. I mean, mine is more based in what we're doing here. Yeah. But... Oh, I thought we were talking about uh, MLB the show now. No, we were talking about Face Jam. Mm -hmm. Um. So we, those are your steps. We should do a franchise mode and <laughs> get the Tigers. <laughs> And then invent teleportation. But then when are we coming back around to the angels? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's, here's, what's our plan with the Tigers? Step five. Okay. Okay. Now that we have teleportation technology, um, I imagine after two years and two very successful campaigns and two World Series wi uh, wings and rings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm with That's you what there. we do. We do. We I'm win so there. many that we get rings and wings. I'm with you there. Throw the wings in the space jam. Boneless jet. wings. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we teleport the team. Okay. To Anaheim. Okay. And now they're the angels. And so we're just Did leaving. Just so wait, hang on. Wait. So wait. There's already the angels there, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but we've teleported the Detroit Tigers. So R and D on teleportation didn't go as planned. Okay. Um, you can't take one thing and mm-hmm. put it in another without replacing gotcha. what's there. Uh huh. And that is the material, mm-hmm. the matter used to oh. create the thing that's being teleported there. So they just cease to exist. Oh, okay. So it's, it's just, and it works out one for one because it's one team for one team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's Detroit, kind of Detroit, just Detroit dramatically. Because they don't have a team anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And they, Somehow, they were mad about it. It, it so perfectly evens out. That problem so was solved Anthony for them. Rendon is sacrificed in order for... Yeah. Shit. Um, well, um, sacrifice uh, isn't the word. He's... Taylor Ward's right. body becomes just material transition in order to bring the re- Detroit Tigers. Well, what I'm saying relocated? is Taylor, yeah. Taylor Ward becomes uh, the uh, whoever, who, name another Tigers player. Like, he takes his Miguel spot. Cabrera I don't think plays anymore, so I can't. <laughs> Verlander? <laughs> he does not he's play still, there. He's still there? <laughs> no. Well, Michael, do uh, you want to get on the <laughs> nope. ground floor of Jordan? What? <laughs> Uh, thank you, Sharks. This is this has been my pitch for buying the Detroit Tigers. <laughs> you didn't even let me finish the sentence. Nope. <laughs> and those are I'm just, just saying. Facts. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. These are some outside the box ways to run a baseball team. It's absolutely true. And I think we can be real disruptors in the industry. And and I see a a difficult but achievable path to evaluation of 250 billion twitters. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to be so... Oh, here it comes! Wait, 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 He's wait, wait, gonna wait, th- wait, 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 Don't... Hang on. Throw the pizza. Okay. Throw the pizza now. Oh! Oh! That was awesome. I don't know how I'm going to put his face on that, but we're, we're down here. That's pretty good. Adam, he That's great. With a plate. Hey, Just uh, let's, let's learn about the food. All right. First introduced as a limited time promotion in 2014, the Pretzel Crust Pizza is a large, buttery flavored soft pretzel crust pizza with creamy cheddar cheese sauce, mozzarella, and Munster cheeses and pepperoni. The salty, savory treat can also be amped up with an optional cheese stuffed crust. We did that. Mm-hmm. Or customized to include the traditional Little Caesars pizza sauce. Why don't we do that? I didn't know it was a thing you Made could do. Made from vine ripened tomatoes instead of the cheddar cheese sauce. <laughs> I bet if I would have called, they would have offered. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Classic millennial. He doesn't want to talk on the phone. <laughs> Press material. You rich fuck. Yeah. <laughs> We are thankful to have countless pretzel crust pizza fans that are extremely vocal about their love for it's this absolute, product. It's absolutely Greg true. Hamilton, Little Caesars chief marketing officer, said in a statement, despite bringing it back several times, it feels like the pretzel fervor has not waned. Mm-hmm. Oh! We're bracing ourselves for the predictable outcry on social media when it eventually goes away again. Uh, this all sounds like very positive that like they like their fans and stuff. It has an undertone of like, I like shut it. the fuck up yeah. about little, the fucking pizza. Leave truly, us the fuck alone. We keep bringing it back, yeah. assholes. Yeah. yeah. Little like, Caesars truly uh, fucked the fans franchise. <laughs> I'm a big, that's great. That's just, hey, you little fucking idiots. We know you're going to complain when this thing goes away, dipshits. We know. We'll, yeah, and you'll be back. And you'll be fucking mm-hmm. back. And then what? That sounds like Face Jam. <laughs> no. Um, what? You so little, what you did you guys think? Michael's eating little, another slice of piz. You little bugs. <laughs> Michael's eating another slice of piz. What do you guys think about this pizza? Like, it's little, Ce- it tasted like Little Caesars. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, it has that soft crust that a uh, classic Little Caesars mm-hmm. brings. I don't, is, is like the under crust supposed to be pretzel or just the outer crust? I don't know. What's the underside look like? Because it looks like, it looks like regular crust. It does look like regular crust. Yeah, but where does it begin and end? I don't know. It's they, true. It looks like they just toasted the top or airbrushed it with I pretzel color. it's all pretzel. It's got to be all pretzel. It's got to be all pretzel. It's got to be. Yeah. If you salted that whole thing, I bet it would taste like oh, pretzel. Oh, we didn't even talk about the salt on this thing, really. It gets everywhere. It, it makes the whole pizza salty. It is everywhere. And we it did, is because you slid so, it around. Right. It is so salty. Through the whole pizza. It is so fucking salty. Sure is. That is, ins- and it's all over Michael. <laughs> it is. He's saving some for later. Well, that's great. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird. I get it. It's a pretzel. It's what you'd salt. Yes. It, it, pizza did not need to be saltier. No, and it brings me back to why these two things. Mm-hmm. Maybe a corn cob pizza wasn't such a bad idea. 
That would have been crazy. Then at least you're just getting butter everywhere. Yeah, but do you like eat the cob? You know what I mean? No, like pizza bones? Yeah, yeah that's true. You got true. pizza bones left? You don't, want, you don't want pizza refuse yeah. in your leftovers. Mm -hmm, you know? mm -hmm. What do you think about the, Michael, the, the pizza in general, Michael? Look, I felt like I got to listen to Face Jam. Oh, how was that? I'm not beyond it. It was good. Yeah. Like, like I was the listener. Yeah. And you guys were talking. Mm -hmm. Is it any good? Uh, it was good. And as a listener, not Michael, as a listener, I'm thinking like, Fucking Jordan again. He get that. We got that corn cob thing. He would have hated it. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking, this is an abomination. I hate this piece of shit. This fucking guy. And that's why I'm like, I'm a listener. Yep, yep, you got it. And then you started looking at me, and I went, Oh mm. no, they can see me. Um, without rating, it, like, what do you think shit. about? Yeah, right. Like it's so weird. Um, I don't know, it's weird, but it's salty. Definitely salty. The um cheese sauce, I'm not a fan of. Really? Yeah, I don't. Do you think it would have been better Agreed. with regular? Agreed. Because at least yes. then it would have been pizza, yeah. Yeah. Instead, yep. instead it changes it too much, and it's it's very again it's it very doesn't different. serve the higher purpose of combining the pretzel and That's the cheese. Right. Yeah. I feel like if it were the regular sauce, then you get a true here's pizza, but pretzel. Right. And right now it's like it's not pizza because you wouldn't make pizza with this. I mean, it's pizza. You know what I mean? But it's not your vanilla red right. sauce pizza. So. It's all weird. It's all weird. Right? It's, it's hard, all weird it's hard to judge it on just the pretzel when the sauce is by far way odder, right? right? Even with the salt, like you can wipe that off. There's a lot of salt. I'm a person. I like salt, but I'm of the, I've always been of the fucking dumping in salt. I can always wipe it off. If mm -hmm, it's unsalted, mm -hmm. I'm screwed. Yeah. But it's very salty. You're not wrong. But man, that's not what hits me. It's that sauce. You bite it and you're just like, whoa. Yeah. Like yeah. I just took another bite. I yeah. was eating another slice. I'm I looking knew, at it. I it's knew it was there, there, right? But I first took that first bite and was like, oh, just forgot. It's, it's just creamy. It is very creamy. It's creamy. And creamy is not something I really want on a pizza. Yeah. You know, I don't want creamy. Like, like even the, again, the pretzel, the flavor is different, but it's, it's a fucking crust. Yeah. It's yeah. very similar to pizza crust. It's, yeah. it's damn near identical. Yeah. Very weird. So, especially on the other, or it on is, side. Yeah, or it is pizza crust that's flavored or whatever the fuck if I know. Jordan, you know what, I mean? like what do you think? Pretzel. Um, what do you wanna what do you wanna rate this thing? What do you what do you think about Little Caesar's pretzel crust pizza? 43. Wow. Okay. I just doesn't do enough to combine them together. Mm -hmm. Like, which is clearly what they want to be doing. I agree. But they're just not doing it. Like, I would further have them make it pizza in the front, pretzel in the back. Oh, like the of, mullet of pizzas. In, instead of this, instead of this little, like they're kind of related, so but they're still separate. Do you think it would have been better if it was a regular pizza sauce? So it's all pizza throughout. And then the crust is pretzel. And then they give you Listen, cheese be better incrementally. Well, like, I mean, but, but I mean, like, but then, but then you get like a cheese Here's to like, dip thing. it into Here's the thing. You can give me the cheese. I wouldn't use it. Oh, really? but maybe there's some freak that loves it. Yeah. I would say don't force it on the pizza. Yeah. The other thing is not only. Well, I mean, I apparently think, we could have well, done it, but he didn't want to call. Yeah. Um, it not does only, say right here available for callers only. Not only <laughs> does uh, the marinara, obviously, or the red sauce, it's just like regular pizza, mm -hmm. but you also, that sauce applies to pretzels. It's true. So it's still already yeah. worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. As like a pretzel pizza. And now I just. The gremlins now, the man, the cheese. I'll be though. honest, like this freak Nick, I want to try this again with the red sauce. Mm -hmm. I really, now I'm interested because wow. I, I think I would like it a lot more. I think, I think, oh, first of all, what'd you give it? 43. 43. Uh, I'm going to give it a 40. Wow. It's just, I don't like the middle and it's so much of the pizza. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, unfortunately, it's, thing, it's, like, unfortunately, it's most of it. Again, it's the thing. I, it's weird. I'm not like, oh, it's bad. It's just not, I don't love it. And yeah. it's, it's most of it. Yeah. So what the fuck? 100%. I'm not going to give it a great rating. Like, yeah, it was okay, but you know, it was 90%. Also, the not a big, the not crust a big is difference. the best fucking part to me. It is. And not a big difference between the cheese stuff no, one either. Like, I never like stuff crust. Yeah. It's just. Now, if they did it's something fun cheese, with the cheese that they cheese. put in there, it just it doesn't been, work. Yeah, it could have been something interesting. It but stuffed crust always somehow undersells. It's like the pizza is real cheese, and that's like fake cheese. I, I can't explain it. It, it's, yeah. it is like they use a different cheese it's that just, only I'm works. Sure it's like they can only get it to work because it's like right, mostly or plastic. Like the way it, I don't know if it's the cheese or the way it's made or whatever, yeah. but it's not at all like oh, it's more of this inside that. That would be Correct. fine. It's a different, it's a cheese. completely different cheese yeah. that's always like. It's not as stretchy and gooey. Mm -hmm. It's more just kind of, I don't know. 
Here's my five step plan Fuck to you, fix Jesus. this. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um, step okay. one: Mike Trout, Shohei Otani. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, let step me. Two. Mike Illich's son. Christopher oh, there Illich. you go. Get, he's a, get him he's in here. Fix it. Yeah. Let me let me pose this and feel free to say no if you, if you don't think it's a, a good idea. Pose it. Uh spit and silly episode where we do this pizza. I'll do it. But with the Nick's Nick, Screaming. I don't know if you picked up on the mic. Nick gasped like it it was a revelation. It was like the season finale of Dallas. Yeah, it really was like, <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> Who shot JR? Who shot him? Um so what if we did a spit and silly episode where we got that pizza? I know that we don't we don't typically do limited food on spit and right. silly. My but immediate Carol. thought was even for thirty minutes is a lot of heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. But this guy doesn't want to do it. I'll eat it. I don't care. But we should do it. Okay. We it should get a re it should get a. Re I'm curious I mean, enough what, to what, give it another crack. Here's what we do. Mm -hmm. Here's what we do. We do it in spit and silly, but we just do it while we're doing something else. Okay. Yeah. We don't make it the episode. Okay. Just be yeah. like, hey, we're gonna do this. Right, Nick, Nick wrote, "We can get the cookie brown." So we were Just in, stop. we were in that little Caesars as previously mentioned for thirty seconds, uh -huh. and oh, it I did not, this. did this not take him very long to be like mm, cookie brownies. I didn't even, did I didn't he even say cookie him. brownies? And I was like, Eric, <laughs> Eric, we gotta get out of here before you see some other treat he wants. That's funny. I literally missed that. That's how, that's how fast it was, and you were in there. I, oh Jesus! Damn, it was like ten seconds. Let's get to a snack. Um, but yeah, we should do like a uh, whatever. And then while we do it, we just yeah. eat the pizza. Yeah. Because then it can be like a side talk about thing. it a little bit. Um, I thought it was a snack. This is also what Nick was screaming about this earlier. Is a snack. You've given us what looks like a bottle of maple syrup. Ah, it's indeed not. <laughs> what is it? This is Kentucky 74. Oh. Spiritless. Distilled non-alcoholic spirit for bourbon cocktails. This okay. is from Sarah Weems. Sarah. She's a friend That's of Michael's. Crazy. There's yeah, only Michael. One friend. of them. <laughs> only Michael's friend. We don't know her. I, or I, I know her. someone named Sarah Weems. Yeah, That's, they're crazy. There's two people nope. named Sarah. Two person. different same Sarah person. Weems. I doubt nope. it. Um, I, I doubt it. it. Sarah. Sarah said she's I from bought Colorado, this. not Kentucky. So. That's true. Sarah said I bought this because I've been drinking. You know, she's like I. I really like bourbon. I wanted to try something that wasn't alcoholic, so I figured I'd grab this. She tried it once, and she went, I. Do not like this. Right. But. Well, because it's not bourbon. Right. right. And also, she said, she said, but I do want you guys to try it because it's so different. Was she drinking it, drinking it straight like this? Or uh, was yeah. she mixing it into oh, cocktails? I, I mean, I, she mixed it. I think she did it straight and then into a cocktail. So this is Kentucky 74. It is a distilled non-alcoholic so, spirit. So basically, how do you, how do you make this without it being alcoholic? I don't know. Is it just water that's bourbon oh, flavored? God. I guess. Oh God! It smells, it smells terrible. It smells. It smells almost like bourbon, but then like cinnamon, and then like oh weird God, candy. I don't want to drink this. This I is got like a all the worst of, parts of drinking, and none of the good a hint, parts. A hint of watered Seriously. down Coke. It's um, oh. it's like one forty in the afternoon. Yeah, my my body is literally going. Don't drink bourbon at one forty, <laughs> right? Because it's just like a guttural reaction, and I'm going. Don't worry, it's not real bourbon, yeah. which is somehow worse. <laughs> Why am I doing it? Bourbon then? in particular is it sucks. Is <laughs> oh, a, I hate bourbon. Is a smell that I will like. Oh man, I'll get yeah. a whiff of, and Dude. my stomach will immediately. Yeah, like, I hurt. am not, and will never be the like liquor guy. Yeah, you sure. Like, we'll pour it in a glass with some rocks. Mm -hmm. Like I, I like mojitos. <laughs> <laughs> I like pina colada. Nice. <laughs> well, this is uh, Kentucky seventy four. Oh, Let's give man. it a shot. All right. <laughs> okay thank god it doesn't have the burn of alcohol no whatsoever no it doesn't it's it's crazy it's like it's so is this what weird. bourbon tastes like without the burn no because i still don't like it yeah no but it's, it's still bad it's not good but oh it's so much better than i thought it was gonna be it tastes like you took out half the flavors of a dr pepper that's very yeah, weird it's so watery it's it's like it's, I mean, it's exactly watery. Watery. like water it's, it's flat dr pepper cut with water yeah it that is, is it, bizarre. It's like somebody had made, a, like had had bourbon in this cup, and then I put a bunch of water in it. There was one time years ago we had this special um, Texas shaped tequila glass mm -hmm. or bottle at, at the office, and we were all going to do a uh, pre RT podcast shot of mm -hmm. tequila. We took it down from the cabinet, and uh, we all poured it into shot glasses, and we all took a drink at the same time, and we were like. This is water. What? And somebody somebody drank all of it and put <gasps> water in it. And it became a mystery. That's funny. That's <laughs> awesome. 
But uh, this is this reminds me of that. <laughs> it's stupid. that's it's, so cool. It's watery bourbon because um, you still had like the remnants of the tequila flavor, but it was ninety nine percent water. That's yeah. just weird, man. That's what this is. It's wild. I don't. No, like it's for making cocktails to get a bourbon flavor. Uh, I took there's, another drink. I didn't like it. There's yeah, not, I was blown away you didn't drink it all at once. Yeah. I just went. There's like a not a like this. There's not enough bourbon flavor to mix it with anything if to you make it a bourbon with it, cocktail. With anything, it's oddly sweet. It is very sweet. Like that's just going to make your cocktail bad. It tastes like, you know, when you get like uh, Jack Daniels barbecue Whoa! sauce. Oh. It's that so kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of bourbon flavor that where it's never done. Fridays. No, it's Fridays. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, when you times. when you get a cotton candy steak and a Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, it tastes like the it tastes like the way that bourbon is used in like a barbecue sauce. Or it's just like a sweetness with like none of the punch. Like do, there's no impact. I do think that like non alcoholic alcohol is becoming more popular. Uh huh. And I think eventually, give it a couple of years, this might. End up being good with some more like development. It's like teleportation. They haven't cracked it yet. Right. Um, Here's a five step plan for non alcoholic. <laughs> um, uh, it kind of kind of like you know uh, like impossible meat. Like you know they finally crack that. So give this a couple couple more years and maybe it'll be good. Okay. But right what, now, not so great. What do you rate Kentucky seventy four? Oh, I don't like it at all. I mean, I guess for what it is, but I I don't like bourbon. <laughs> like um, even as a drink, uh-huh. this is not a drink. It's no a drink. So it's I would, like I would not drink. It's it. like a sixteen. Okay. Well, it's twenty. So oh, average. Nick, Nick doesn't like it either. Nick hates it. Nick's, Nick's doing a gun. Nick's killing it. Um, average score of eighteen, which uh, I think if you're for some reason looking for non-alcoholic bourbon, I don't want to say look elsewhere because you shouldn't this, be. You, yeah, you're screwed. If if, if this is something I mean, you're this looking is a place for, to start. Just, yep. Sorry. It's a place to start, and like Jordan said, just hang out for a couple of years with the R and D. Let uh yeah let the, let the thing let the brainiacs do their magic right they'll, they'll crunch the numbers they'll crack the code mm-hmm. and you'll it'll be smooth and delicious maybe <laughs> hopefully uh well that was snack attack if you want to send us snacks you can that was that was yeah oh that was our snack when are we doing a big one uh, like a big like a snack attack yeah snack attack? it's oh. been forever yeah. Sarah gave us another thing that she wanted us to do on snack attack do you want me to go get shit. it shit. What? Do you, why? Want to, do you want me to go get I'm it? I'm sorry. Are we just not ending? Weren't we in the middle of ending the Well, I, that's yeah. why I was, but you seemed like you wanted another snack. No, I'm no, talking we about want to do like a big a fucking, stream like and do a, a bunch stream. of snacks. Oh, that's what well, he's talking about. Oh, we'll do something like that soon. It's okay. Been ages. And then you can bring Sarah. You think I was snack. talking about just more snacks? Yeah, like right God, now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. God, well, it's no. not a send of snacks. I'm not even going to stay to do the ads. I'm going to leave. Nick said get snack. I'm not getting the snack. Nick. If you want to send us snacks, you can. You send them to Face Jam Care of Eric Boudoir, 1901 First East 51st Street, Austin, Texas, 78723. You um, don't have to do that, Nick. You can just hand it to him. Yeah. As a, um, <laughs> hey, you, also, if you see Eric down, walking down the street, hand him a snack. There you go. Hey, the monkey rug <laughs> is on sale now. Um, send us a picture of where you put monkey Nick's face. Uh, tw- you tweet at us at Face Jam Pod and put it on Instagram, too. Uh, the Monkey League baseball shirt, also on sale now. Hopefully, we have something that's tied in with that. Baseball's soon. back. Step six. All right. We're changing the name. To the monkeys. Nice. Oh. Okay. Hey, we're going to announce this now. We got an announcement? Face Jam tracksuits. I already announced it. On sale. I already announced it. 420. 420. <laughs> a couple days ago on a live stream. Face Jam Mafia Rise Up. That's right. The first time you're hearing about this right here, right now. The 20th of April. It's news to Eric. Face Jam tracksuits hey, will be hey, on sale. Set yeah. your alarms, you fucking stoners. Oh, all right. Don't spend all your money on drugs. <laughs> buy our tracksuit, then buy drugs. Truck tracksuit? <laughs> truck suit? Truck suit, cool as shit. Trucked up suit. Oh, Bro, whoa! did you know? Did you know we inspired like multiples? Are people taking our tracksuit oh. ideas? Uh, people who are here, motherfucker, yeah. dude, they keep doing that. I don't and know, but I, I know exactly. Who I don't it is. know if T-shirt it's podcast? actually coming out on the same day or not. T-shirt podcast? No, it's not. It's like achievement something. I don't know who that is. There's um, other ones coming out, but most importantly, the Face Jam tracksuits. Buy those first because we told you about them yep. first. You owe yeah. us. You Short owe us. Shortarrousteeth.com hey, is where you're gonna want. Here's the thing, that. too. Yeah. Uh, kudos to uh, all e-commerce involved because yeah. they gave me those fucking things in November and they said April and they were right. They were right. It's true. It's April. They knew their shit. People, well, I people, mean, when they got a six month runway. People, yeah, no people asking me like I forgot going, oh, remember those? And I'm going, I said April. Yeah. <laughs> I think you forgot. Yep. Yeah. I said what I said. April 20th, April. 420. April 20, 420, yep. man. Buy your tracksuits. Face and, Jam Mafia. And I hear there's already some digital stickers of me. 
Really? Yeah, I mm. made them. Yeah, you yes. <laughs> sent them. To sent you. one earlier, and it was <laughs> really something. What's up? <laughs> it was a good one. Would you say early? Uh, earlier. Oh, because it was early after Damn. I sent it, but I was like, I got kids. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I, was having, I was having a cup of coffee right in this uh, format sheet. Come see us well, at RTX July seventh through 9th at the Rat and Grackle Pub. Guys, we'll be chilling at the Rat and Grackle Pub all day. Can't wait. Yep. Uh, be hanging, banging, monkey, taking pictures. Monkey bartender. Monkey bartender. What are we going to review? That's not a sticker. That's just a picture. He's, are, uh, he's wiping down. He's practicing. Oh, he's wiping so, down a paper cup. Oh, what are we going to review for our uh, RTX episode? Um, I don't know. What should we do for our... We'll figure it out, I are guess. Are you going? I, uh, they, they have... <laughs> I was thinking about... They have... Um, at, at Q2 Stadium, they have the PB&J Crunch that they had at the Yeah, uh, we at found the out that that's Center. at the actual soccer stadium that yeah. we have. is fucking crazy. Well, they copied us, right? Yeah. After we reviewed it. Mm -hmm. Same distributor. And it got stellar reviews, didn't it? Yeah. I got stellar review. There, look at that. There's another one. That's a good one. Face Jam Mafia. Hey, come see us at RTX. So you go rtxaustin.com to get tickets. Uh, follow us at Face Jam Pod on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, Spit and Silly will be, whoa, that's a weird one. Spit and Silly. They included that. They can't see these. I'm showing Eric, this one's just my groin. Whoa. I mean, it says, it says Face Jam, but that's yep. one of the approved ones. That mm -hmm. looks, that looks shopped. That looks like somebody did some warping. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> Spin silly next week. Email facejampod at roosterteeth.com for your food conundrums. Are you the new bows and shreds? Is that how you pronounce it? Conundrums? Yeah. What have you been saying? You don't want to know. Oh, whoa. Um, dude. Conundrums. I saw, I saw a fucking email come in today yeah. that I had to flag. <laughs> you want to you just read part of it to tease is it? it? Is it the one that isn't a food court submission? Dude, I don't even remember. Because there's oh, there's one that we got that isn't that, and then but there was also a really interesting. There food court. were there were two that I noticed, and I think one was a food court. Oh yeah, one was a food court, and one was this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was that one? This one was this a, was this from oh, Spit and Silly? God. Or was this from Face Jam? We were talking about this. We were that one was from Face Jam. Are, yeah. Okay. So, but yeah, so, you should read that. So this is <laughs> because that's not going on food court. <laughs> So this was sent to Face Jam, and the subject, it just says merch. It's from Chris G, and it says, Hello, I don't know who to reach out to, but a few months ago, I remembered that there was discussion about a cat or gun shirt. There was another episode. So by the way, this has nothing to do really with cat or gun. Beyond, beyond the <laughs> he, kind of, he could have told this story without mentioning cat or gun at all. Um, but there was another episode where the idea was brought up about calling eggs lemons, and calling lemons eggs, as we were saying, have they swapped? Mm -hmm. And right. they still are, I think. Um, as of they, now, yeah. They continue, I'd be interested in buying a lemons or egg shirt. Uh -huh. I'm sorry if this comes off spammy. It doesn't. I'm, I'm saying it doesn't. Oh, okay. I don't know what it comes off as, but it's not spam. <laughs> okay. But thought this was too good of an opportunity to pass up. Thank you. And then what they sent was, it's just like a computer background. Uh -huh. It's just a black image. Uh-huh. On the top left, there's a picture of lemons. An actual, like, photo yeah, just stock image. Yeah, yep. stock image of lemons. And then on the bottom right is a stock image of eggs. But it says eggs or lemons. And eggs next to the lemons. <laughs> and lemons next to the eggs. And that's it. And I'm curious what we can do with this. Yeah, I was going to say, like, there's something. It's not a so, shirt. So but simple I about it. I... <laughs> It's not it, a shirt. And it then, looks to me like a motivational poster. Right. You know what I mean? But I don't know what it motivates. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it motivates. It motivates I, some emotion. I feel like we could sell it as a poster or we could sell it as a desktop background. I feel like, like not can, even sell it. Just I feel like share it. Give it away as something. Share, share I feel it. like we definitely don't sell it as anything. Make it a, make <laughs> People it a, have already paid in time. Make it, to this. make it an <laughs> NFT. Who cares? Whoa. <laughs> We should release this as our first desktop background. Oh! Can we, our first official good. desktop can we, background. Can we pay Chris that $1? One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we buy this? But just, I'm being very clear, for very little. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, really, for near nothing is what we're trying to do. <laughs> honestly, uh, it made me laugh. Honestly, though. we could recreate it. It made me laugh. For less money. Yeah, but it's not in the spirit of it. It is not it's in the not spirit. It's not in the spirit. Yeah. Because nope. they put the work in. Right. Uh, but anyway, they, I don't know why this was so long at the end of the episode. I like it though. Um, <laughs> I liked this email. And this just this was just this morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Right. Anyway, thanks for listening to <laughs> Face Jam. It's over. Get out. <laughs> the show where uh 
we have a five step plan to end the show. Okay. Step one. This is step three. <laughs> is rating and subscribing and telling a friend about the show where we eat food and rate the food. Goodbye.